Hello and welcome to the peatlands. In this video we will show you how to create the best conditions to describe the development and state of peat soils using a shallow pit. First we will show you how to create a soil pit as well as how to prepare a soil monolith. The term monolith refers to an undisturbed peat block which includes the upper 60 cm of the soil. Let's start with a shallow pit. First, a small pit should be dug. The dimensions of the pit should be approximately 2 spade widths wide and 3 spade widths long. The pit should be about 60 to 70 centimeters deep. These are the minimum dimensions. You can certainly work with larger and deeper pits. If it is important to disturb as little soil as possible or to work quickly, this size is sufficient. In the first step, grass sods are removed and placed on a tarp. This will make putting them back afterwards easier. Then the pit is dug with a spade and shovel. Be careful while working to make sure you don't step on the pit edge where the monolith will later be removed. Stepping on this edge will damage the upper soil layer. Also, the walls of the pit which you want to examine should not be damaged by lever movements with a spade. Such movements could damage the soil structure or additionally compact the peat. When the pit is done, the walls which will be used later on should be cleaned off with a spade from the top to the bottom. Now the preparations for the soil description can begin. A measuring tape is attached to one of the narrow walls that has been cleaned and smoothed, with a zero on the upper boundary of the soil. The soil profile can now be photographed. If the sun is strong, you can use a parasol to create some shade. Before you continue, it would be beneficial to prepare an even surface where you can lay the monolith. This step is especially important if the vegetation is high or the surface is uneven. You can use a light but solid board and a rollable pad. In this way, the monolith will lay flat and will have a homogeneous background which is ideal for the photo documentation. And now, the monolith will be cut out of the profile. The width of the monolith is the width of a spade, approximately 20 cm. Its length will be about 60 cm. And the monolith should be 10 to 15 cm thick. The contours of the monolith should be cut with a knife so that it can be easily extracted. For this to work, a big bread knife with a serrated edge is good for cutting the grass sods and a large smooth knife is ideal for deeper areas. Important! Cut deeply and thoroughly into the peat, otherwise the monolith will not come out cleanly. There is a risk that chunks of peat will fall out of the profile wall while cutting when the knife is pulled out. Therefore, it is best to stabilize the wall with your hand while cutting. Don't forget, the bottom horizontal cut at 60 cm depth is also important. If you are working in a team, sometimes it is possible to take out the monolith in one piece. Such monoliths are especially elegant. For this, one person must insert the spade in the pre-cut section at the back of the monolith. It is important that the spade stays vertical, otherwise the monolith will taper towards the bottom. The monolith will then be carefully pushed with the spade out of the profile wall. The second person will hold the other side to stabilize it. Once the monolith is completely detached from the profile wall, it should be moved to the prepared surface. There are however situations when the monolith can only be removed from the profile wall in two pieces. This is the case for instance when you are working alone, then it is impossible to reach so deeply into the pit, or when the soil structure in the upper layers crumbles away. In this case it is better to have the spade on the back side so that the soil stays together or when the soil is highly compacted, then you won't be able to push the spade in that deeply anyway. In these cases you should include a second horizontal cut at 40 cm depth. At this depth the soil structure usually doesn't consist of fine aggregates. In this way you can easily differentiate between natural aggregate surfaces and cut surfaces. Once you have done this, push the spade at most 40 cm into the soil. Now lift the upper part of the monolith out while stabilizing the outer side with your hand. The upper part is laid down on the prepared surface. 
The same process is repeated for the bottom 20 cm of the monolith. Now we know how to dig a shallow pit and how to remove a monolith from the soil profile. In the next video, we will show you how the extracted monolith needs to be prepared for the identification of soil horizons. To sum up, here are all the steps at a glance. After the survey is complete, don't forget to return the peat to the pit. Return the soil respecting its original stratification. Compact from time to time and at the end put the grass sods back in place. Good as new!